music, the lights, the right. parade at night. Oh, it's, it's so much the fun. Best. Yes. We just took my daughter not uh -huh. too long ago and ah, oh, just reliving it through yes. her eyes. Yeah. She must have just loved it. Oh, loved it. Yeah. But it's loved rain it. or shine and rain tomorrow. Yes. Might, rain on the parade. Might fall on rain the parade. tomorrow, Aww. but the parade's at night and at night things are actually shaping up to be a little drier. All so right. that's good news for the parade. <laughs> but rain or shine is a good thing. So we will get a look at our forecast for tomorrow and the rest of the week. We've got two more storm systems heading our way. And first, we do want to check in with our KCAN 9 weather watchers, and you could sign up and become a weather watcher at cbsla.com slash weather. So we've got some great photos, actually, that got sent in earlier today. Umberto Madrigal in Garden Grove sending in this great shot, a little bit of cloud cover and a little bit of blue sky peeking through earlier today, but you could see those cumulus clouds building upwards. We did see quite a bit of rain earlier in the night and in the early morning hours, and then things kind of petered out, even though we're still contending with a few leftover showers. We're not totally done with this storm system, but we're waiting for the next one and Jim Rodder sending in a great shot from Seal Beach a little earlier this evening right around sunset you're going to see a little bit of cloud cover but we did see a bit of blue sky today as well so got the best of both worlds as we get a look at radar you will see quite a bit of rain passing through at the moment we're not totally done with this first system we're just looking at the leftovers but even then, this is very minimal compared to what we're expecting come tomorrow morning. So let's take a closer look at what we're seeing out there. And you will see a few showers coming through the South Bay, through Redondo Beach, right there, through downtown, starting to see a few showers. Wrightwood into Big Bear and Crestline, also looking at a little bit of leftover snow. And as we get a look at the big picture, you will see most of the rain still sitting to our north, heading our way overnight. And tomorrow morning. So with that, we've got flash flood watches, winter weather advisories. We've got a very large swell prompting high surf advisories and warnings along our coastline. Could see local coastal flooding, and we also have high wind warnings in effect. So let's get to future casts, and you will see by 11:30 tonight, we're still looking at a few showers. Nothing major though. Then things start to change by early morning, right around that morning commute, 7 a.m. We're going to start to see widespread rain with heavy downpours. Then by 10:30 in the morning, very heavy. In fact, late. Late morning, not only are we talking rain, but we could see downpours and thunderstorms. And we're also looking at snow in the mountains by 1.30 in the afternoon, still expecting heavy rain. Downpours continuing for our local mountains. And you also will see some thunderstorms potentially through the basin and through Orange County by late afternoon. By the evening hours, things are looking a little drier. 5.30 as it starts to get dark. Anaheim tomorrow actually starting to look a little drier by the evening hours. Great news for the parade. By 9 p.m., and that's 9 o'clock tomorrow night, still looking at leftover raindrops and snow over the mountains. Things start to dry out for a Saturday. We're getting a bit of a break. There'll be a lull and then by Sunday expecting the next round of rain to roll through. We did mention high wind warnings. No surprise that we've got 20 mile per hour wind speeds through the Apple Valley, 14 for Lancaster, 10 for Santa Clarita. And as we get a look at temperatures right now, we are in the 50s, 56 USC, 57 in Fullerton and temperatures earlier today below average at 64 with temperatures tonight falling down to the 40s. A look at all the numbers tonight. You will see 44 in Redland. 43 Manaphy as we head to Irvine 51 and yes we could start to see some rain overnight into the early morning hours and by tomorrow take a look at this a rain all morning long then as we head into the weekend expecting a break Saturday next chance coming Sunday drying out by Tuesday beautiful Wednesday and Thursday now it's time for our shameless weekend weather plug Hi Evelyn, I'm Kermit Alexander, and this Sunday I'm hosting a playoff party with more than 20 other NFL legends at Citadel Outlet. We'll sign autographs, watch the game, and support the Rays Foundation as they work to end child abuse. Visit PCAfootball.com for more information. So Evelyn, how does the weather look? The weather looks fantastic, Kermit. We're so excited for this event, and I will tell you, at this point, things are looking drier for us, at least during the event. But by the second part of the day, that's when that rain is going to start to move in. So we will be keeping things nice and calmer. The event kicks off at 12 p.m., and the meet and greet starts at 1 and ends at 3. Hope to see you out there. Back to you guys.